Silly boy. Silly baby, daddy. You can't jump off there. Whoa! Wow. You should be walking in me. You're a bucket chump chump. You're a bucket chump chump. You're a, you're a, a weasel knacker. What's the loudest roar you can do? Go pick him up then. <laughs> Look who it is! How you doing, Mum? Good to see you. Summer, how are you doing? You alright? Oh, Bloody hell, you've grown. You're like a fully grown man. Maybe we can go down to South Bank later today. Yeah, I was just saying that. What's, what's South Bank? It's basically the, where the Thames is. There's loads yep. of restaurants and cafes. Oh, alright, alright. They've, right, got, right, like, right. they've got a little sand pit out there at the moment for the summer. Right, guys. Should oh. we have a fun few days? Yay! Yeah. 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 Fun summer, you up for a fun few days? Yeah. Should we, so should we make some? Uh, Fun times? Yeah. Some, let's make some fun times. Let's make some fun times. I don't know how the hell we do it, but let's do it. Could it be? <gasps> what? mum and his niece flew over from Ireland to spend a few days with us and help us keep a very hyperactive Grayson entertained. Hey guys, we are on South Bank. It's one of our favourite places to come in London so we thought we would bring Grandma and Summer here, show them what it's all about and they have this really cool little kids sand pit at the moment for summer. We're going to go in search of a cheeky Monday gin and tonic I think. Don't tell anybody! This week is going to be super hot in London and when it's hot in London everyone is outside. Literally everyone. Hey, there's some serious lime licking going on here. <laughs>
Mary made um, a fat free cheesecake. Why would you even try? Disgusting. That's what I said. Come on, Mary. Like, like you like it tastes like the cheese is cheesecake. off. It tastes. It just doesn't taste right. Press the button, press the button, Which press the button, one? anyone. I'm letting Hannah play an Oculus game called The Elevator Ritual. It's horrifically scary. <laughs> oh, <that's> horrible! <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard you jump like that. My God. I'm sweating. <laughs> that was horrible. I feel like I need to watch a Disney film. <laughs> oh no, you just go Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. She's breathing in my ear. No, there she is. Oh God, she's ugly. Oh, let me over here. She's right there. What are you doing? Put it back she's on. Scared. It's not over yet. No, she's, she's back on. She's not in that room. I promise you. She is. I she's swear. not. Mom. No. Come on. She's not in the room. I promise you. She's not in the room. I promise you that. Uh, I promise if I you. have a heart attack, it's your fault. Okay. Now go. No. Come on. No. 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 Come no. On, no. 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 I'm no, no, in that car. That's enough. Thank you. No. No. <laughs> Family and we've come to Hyde Park Paddling Pool. It's the Diana Memorial Fountain. Right, should we have a paddle? Yeah, let's have a paddle. Yeah, let's have a paddle. Paddling. has got so packed out all of a sudden. There's more kids in that water than there is water. Mum and Summer have just popped out for 10, 15 minutes, just so we can settle Grayson a bit because he gets a bit hyperactive around Grandma. Crazy Pretty hyperactive. Pretty much obsessed yeah. with her. So we thought we'd just chill him out for a bit. This week we're working with the lovely people over at Disney who have asked us to check out their app, Disney Life. It actually came at a really good time for us because Grayson has recently naturally just dropped his middle of the day nap time which is pretty tough <laughs> yeah. as a parent you need that hour so we have decided to do something recently called quiet time where we just sit down quietly and read a book or we will watch a film and just chill or a cartoon at the moment his favorite things to watch are a cartoon called mickey mouse clubhouse and his favorite film i pretty much say of all time considering it's only two and a half he's been watching since he was five months old this since he was about five months old oh. is tangled he loves Rapunzel, but he can't say her name. He calls her Pacunzel. Pacunzel. So on Disney Life, there are literally hundreds of books and films to choose from, putting all of Disney in one place. If you pre-download them and sign in, then you can use them while you're traveling, which is really handy as well. Yeah, we've got like unlimited Disney cartoons while we travel, it's the best. Not even just for Grayson. <laughs> The first month is free and then after that it is $9.99. If any of you are interested, there's a link in the description box as well as their latest ad if you want to go check it out. Right now we are off to watch the latest of Pecunzel. You know all the words, don't you? I really love all the songs. Sing a bit of it. What's the one? What's the one? Which Setting you... in the usual morning line up. <laughs> Start on the chores and sweep till the floors are clean. <laughs> Can't keep going. No. It's Come on, I want to do that. I know the other bit. Come on. No, you don't. Come on, I know the other bit. I can join I in now. I don't want to. You're embarrassing me. 7 a.m. the usual morning line up. Sweep all the floors until they're all clean. You know what singing? Say hey, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Are you having fun, Grace? Mm-hmm. 
Gracie is just playing with the corpse of a ladybird. Where's the ladybird corpse? Here it is, look. I don't want to tell you you want to cut my hand. My friends Sean and Jono just turned up. We are all going to go out into Soho tonight. Thought I'd take you guys along for the trip, so uh, let's go. We are four parents unleashed. Are you ready, guys? Ready. Here we go. Did you have a good time? That's the best time, mate. What do the kids say these days? We large it? Is that what you say? We large it? We, we gave... say we maxed it. We maxed it. We maxed it, we maxed it, we maxed it large. We, should, we need to stop saying stuff like that. Oh, look, they're on a Tinder. Getting right here. That's a bad date. Right. He's on his phone. He's on his phone. It's a bad date. Have fun, Sean. Have you phone. Did you, did you, did you love maxing it to the large? Maxing it to the large. Parent party. Yeah, it was a proper parent party, wasn't it? They're not hometown, it's a They're on the loose. <laughs> oh, we're so soft for. <laughs> we're going to tube home now. Good night, everyone. We pushed it pretty hard. 11 o'clock is pretty hardcore for a parent. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. have come somewhere called Brockwell Park. It's like 31 degrees in London today so we thought we'd come somewhere that had a fountain and a cafe because it just seemed like the most sensible thing to do. This hill's a bit of a killer though. Two of the most important things when it comes to filming, good lighting and good sound. For the past couple of weeks it's been doing my headings I've been thinking why is the sound on this camera so bad? But I couldn't figure it out. It wasn't picking up the shotgun mic. Let me show you the difference between good sound and bad sound. This is good sound. And this is onboard camera mic sound. <sighs> so for the past couple of weeks, including this week, so far, everything we filmed up till now, it's just been onboard mic sound, which is unacceptable. We're working on getting it fixed as soon as possible. Anyway, how annoying. Our friends have arrived now, Maya and Leo, Gracie's little best friend, so he's just been off playing with Leo whilst I went to go and put some more money on the car. I'm just trying to find them now. It's so busy, there's children everywhere. Even though he doesn't want to be editing today, Steph's kind of got it good inside in the shade with the fan on, because this is just so hot. There they are. Hello, are you having fun? Summer and I have taken it off on ourselves to get in the children's fountain with all the toddlers. Oh, it's so refreshing though. Nice. <laughs>
This here is my new camera setup. Because my 70D is broken, I'm now gonna use the 5D Mark III as the vlogging camera. It weighs about as much as a small horse, but the quality's gonna be way better. So I'm gonna migrate over to this for a bit. I had to kill so much footage this week because it was too windy, you couldn't hear what we were saying, just the audio wasn't good enough, and it's just killed me. Yeah. Can I have a kiss? I haven't seen no. you. Give me a kiss. Uh, do you know what? No. I've got one. All bathed. Do you love me? No. Do you love Grandma? No. Yeah. Do you love Mummy? Yeah. Do you love Summer? Yeah. Do you love Daddy? Yeah, no. <laughs> Why don't you love me? I bring you into the world, I give you everything, and you just hate me. It's not right. <laughs> Our friend Ryan's just arrived. You want to see Uncle Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Hello. 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 I went to school with Ryan. We grew up together. We used to make videos together when we were, um, God, 16, 17, and Ryan's dad got a VCR camera for Christmas, and we just nicked it. And we, that was when we first started making videos. He's one of my best buddies ever. He's a legend. I love Ryan. Weirdly, Grayson looks a lot like Ryan actually, yeah. really similar. Weird that, isn't it? Oh no! We don't go there anymore. It's covered in baby crap. You didn't, Ryan. Just like, is that witch? <laughs> what do you got in your hands? There are 27 This is our favourite place to eat pizzas in London, by far. Um, it's an ex-public toilet actually. And it's called Joe Public. It's insane pizzas, like incredible pizzas. They're like bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so quite some time ago we were filmed for a BBC thing called The Skies of Our Britain and it's on TV now. So we're all about to watch it. I'm already cringing at myself and I haven't even seen it. They've used my shots of Brighton. They've used my shots. And that one. Hey, and as the sun's come out, no way! Congratulations, Stefan, no you've passed your flight assessment. No way, um, <laughs> no way are you serious? Yeah, can I cuddle you, please? I know you're a military man, but. <laughs> Couple of air. Uh... Yes! I can remember when you were kids, I'd, sometimes I'd fall asleep and then I, I'd wake up and I was late for picking them up from school. <laughs> that used to happen because I don't know, so I'm like so exhausted. Here we are, guys. Say goodbye to everyone. Bye everyone, oh, it was Gracie nice to see said, you again. Gracie just said, can I come? Oh. I wish you could come, Gracie. Oh, Thank you for coming love. over, I love you loads. Oh. It was lovely to have you here. Summer, Hi. lovely to see you. Yeah. We're going home to get cold. <laughs> <laughs> see you later guys. Hi. Bye. Utter prat of the night, online filmmaker Stefan Mitchell tried to fly an unlicensed camera drone right into the Great Hall of the Natural History Museum. No, I didn't. I flew it outside the Natural History Museum. I was joking when I said I was going to fly it into the Natural History Museum. He reasoned that while it might be illegal, it wasn't as bad as murder. How thick can some people be? I just said on a spectrum of how illegal something it is, it's not as bad as murder. This is why you shouldn't read the Daily Mail. <laughs> they've lied about me. <laughs> Actually, the prat bit I kind of agree with, but then like, they've just completely taken what I've said out of context. And I put it on Facebook and it, like every single one of my friends have, uh, are absolutely loving it. Every time I put up on something on Facebook, which is a good thing, which is like a career achievement, I get like one like from my mum. Any time I put something up, which is just somebody like destroying me, everyone comes out of the woodwork and loves it, reposts it, shares it, prints it off and sticks it to the blooming wall. Don't touch my nose or I turn into a pig. <laughs>
on a hot yoga class today. I haven't done one in what I worked out was four months. I was pregnant for a bit and then I wasn't pregnant for a bit and my emotions were all over the place. I just got to a point this morning where I was like, I need to go, I need it. And it was one of the best classes I've ever been to. I found a new favorite teacher. Gracie is taking a nap at the moment. I am eating what looks a bit like a depressing lunch. Tuna jacket potato with some spinach. I am gonna go upstairs now and try my best to finish a blog post while Grayson is napping. Trying to cram it all in, it's pretty, pretty difficult. But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna finish my potato and crack on with the blog. Right. We'll call that a wrap for today. See you tomorrow, guys. really strong urge to do what the same thing i've been doing all week 7 a.m the <laughs> usual morning lineup <laughs> he's literally currently down there watching uh Bacunzel. grayson is addicted to tangled mm. like anytime i need him to have a few few minutes out all i have to do is be like do you want the princess and he's like i need Bacunzel. Yeah. That's how we're allowed to do this outro right now. If he didn't have Bacunzel... He's watching Bacunzel right now. Quite he, tempted to get him the doll. <laughs> yeah, if he didn't have Bacunzel right now, then we, it would be carnage in here. It would be... It would just be like... There would be fire. There would so, be screams. Death screams. We want to say thank you to the lovely people at Disney who yeah, have Disney. worked with us this week and also enabled us to have some freedom. Imagine if you told your seven-year-old self that you got to work with Disney. No, I'd be like... To be honest, your 27 year old self yeah. is pretty happy about <laughs> it as well. Uh, yeah, so thanks, Disney. Really appreciate it. Um, oh, here it is. Look. Bump and shine up. And by then, it's like 7 15, and so I'll read a book, or maybe two or three. Oh, God. Let's not be these people. Let's not be these people. Let's not be these people. Let's be these people. So I'm basically just wondering where will my life begin. I love being that person. Yeah, so... of ballet and chess. Okay, right, calm yourself down. I can't resist it because it's on in the background. Apologies for the sound being so rubbish this week. I'm really disappointed because there was so much stuff that I had to kill. So much footage I had to kill, which I would have loved to have kept. Oh. But the sound was just too bad, and I got into it, and I was just like, I got into the edit, and I was like, oh no, so... Made him pretty moody. Yeah, it's going to cost probably about £600 to fix the camera, because camera repairs are like... Let's not go into camera repair costs, but they are they are ridiculous. No. I just feel really sorry for anyone who has to go through a camera repair situation. Anyway, sorry. moving on, let's not, let's not make this into a downward spiral here, honey. <laughs> oh, I have news. I don't actually have them with me, actually, so maybe I shouldn't have news. But basically, I... <laughs> We're so professional. <laughs> I have um, my new makeup bags, which I have redesigned, are almost, almost ready. I just have a few little tweaks that I want to make. I don't want to put them on a website until I absolutely love them. And there's just a couple of things that I'm not 100% happy with at the moment. But they should be ready in time for Christmas. So I'll keep you guys updated. A lot of people have been asking us about the prints. We basically decided to take down the old website so we could completely reimagine them, do them way better. And, and they're uh, amazing. I don't think you should ever put something out in life that you're not 100% happy with, and we weren't 100% happy with it. So we're gonna we we took a step back to take two steps forward, and the new ones are gonna be insane. They're pretty much ready as yeah, well. They're, like they're awesome. They are. Well, we just need to. Yeah, they're ready to go. Find much, out yeah, when yeah, we can soon. put them. Live. The good thing about it as well, like we've ah. we've done it all ourselves. Like I designed them in Photoshop ourselves. We we work together on on designing these things. So it's not like all the it's not like stuff. somebody came along and said, "Oh, I'll, just, I'll, I'll give you the design, and you just guys just sell it." It's not like that. Do you remember like, that big fat wadge of paper I had to go through for paper quality? Yeah, there's lots of oh, there's lots of going to it. Yeah, and then like it's kind of fun though in a really geeky way. Yeah. <laughs> so we've just kind of reimagined them anyway, and we'll, we'll have 
those um, up online soon. We'll let you guys know about it anyway. Yeah. Got a fun week next week. Lots of stuff planned for next week. However, the week after, we might have a week off because we need a week off. I've also got a video up on my channel and a blog post, so I'll pop the links to those in the description box. We've had all the quotes come through for one feed. We have three separate teams. Don't want to bore you with this too much, but a back-end development team, front-end development team, and a UX team. They've given us all their quotes. We seem to be quite happy with it. So this, the plan is to go out to work with this company in Australia in, I think it's going to be late September now, early October. By the way, then, is there any burglars watching? Some friends are going to move in here to stop you thieving all of our stuff. So burglars, just go burglar somewhere else, please. I would say pray for us on the flight, but... Um, We're atheists, so what would be the point in that? Well, it seems like Pecunzel's got it covered. <laughs> He's just going to have, like, 24 hours of Pecunzel. We're, we're going to be nervous, Rex, if we've got 24 hours of, like, a, a one one animation I, over and over and I've over again. I've watched it so many times this week that I could probably recite the whole thing mm. here and now. Don't you don't say goodbye to everyone. Don't say goodbye to everyone. You're not allowed. Don't come over here and say goodbye to everyone. He's licking the fan. He's worked out my reverse... Ah! Like I think that was bad, guys. He's worked out reverse psychology now, so um, I, it's just starting to not work anymore. Right, anyway, see you next week, everyone. Bye, Love thanks you. for watching. Bye. See you later. Bye, 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 bye.